Sorry about earlier. I, we're probably just still jet lagged. And you know, floating demon head and all. <laughs> Apology accepted. Just stay on your side of the room. <laughs> Tiger. <laughs> yes. You, uh, you want to go halfsies on a skin flick? Okay. Hello, Internet. My name is Billy, and this is your Guide to the Ventureverse, a YouTube series in which I look at each episode of the Venture Brothers and give a brief synopsis, point out interesting facts, talk about its place in the greater canon of the show, and finish it off with some personal thoughts about the episode. In today's video, we will discuss Season 2, Episode 10 of the Venture Brothers, I Know Why the Caged Bird Kills. This episode first aired on September 24th, 2006. Let's get into it. Hank and Dean are abducted by the former family bodyguard, and Brock and Helper team up to save them. Meanwhile, Dr. Venture enlists the help of Dr. Orpheus to rid him of a Japanese spirit that's been following him around, and the mysterious Dr. Henry Killinger shows up to advise the monarch. Dr. Killinger is basically one part Mary Poppins and one part Henry Kissinger. If somehow you're unfamiliar with Mary Poppins, she's a magical nanny who flies around on an umbrella, and Henry Kissinger is a former Secretary of State and National Security Advisor to Richard Nixon. Brock and Helper are discussing music, but never explicitly state what band they're talking about. From the context, though, you can tell that they're talking about Led Zeppelin. First of all, we already know Brock loves them, and second, they have indeed recorded some Hobbit-based songs. After Myra tells the boys she is their mom, first she paraphrases Darth Vader's line from Star Wars. Search your feelings, boys. You know it to be true. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. She then jumps straight into quoting the song True by Spandau Ballet. So true. Funny how it seems always in time but never in line for dreams. Nope. So true. I bought a ticket to the world, but now I've come back again! As pointed out on the DVD audio commentary, the final scene transition during the flashback to when Meyer and Dr. Venture first had sex is a vagina wipe. Dr. Orpheus says he has to consult with a higher power in his daughter's closet. It was previously established in Escape to the House of Mummies Part 2 that Triana's closet is a porthole to the necropolis. This is the first appearance of Dr. Henry Killinger. He was meant to be a one-off character, but they do end up bringing him back, and he plays a pretty significant role in the Ventureverse. This is also the first appearance of Myra Brandish, a woman who claims to be the boy's mom, but at this point in time, it's unclear if that's true or if she's just crazy. We've already had a few references to Sergeant Hatred at this point, but in this episode we touch upon the fact that Sergeant Hatred has actually molested Hank and Dean. I really hate that this is a thing, let's all just pretend this isn't canon. I hesitate to say that 21 using silly string web blasters is a callback to his willingness to use toys as weapons and hate floats, but rather that it's just 21 being 21. Also in regards to characters being themselves, this is the first time we actually see Darter Girlfriend being a badass which is important to point out, because Dr. Girlfriend is a fucking badass. And also regarding Dr. Girlfriend, this episode implies the beginnings of 21's crush on her. The Venture Brothers is a show that is profoundly lacking in strong female characters. I don't mean physically strong, because we know that Molotov is one of the only people that can give Brock a run for his money, and this episode shows us that Dr. Girlfriend can kick some ass too, I mean strong from a writing standpoint. Three-dimensional characters who aren't just a tortured prostitute, somebody's relative, or someone Brock fucks. So you'd think I'd welcome Myra Brandish with open arms, and yet... I don't know. She never did a lot for me. She's not bad. She has interesting motivations. There's interesting history there with her being Doc's former bodyguard. Maybe it's just because they didn't do much with her after this episode aside from one other episode. Or maybe... It's because Dr. Killinger totally steals the show. I don't understand Dr. Killinger. I don't know why he's so goddamn funny. I don't know why he's based on Henry Kissinger. I don't know the true extent of his powers. I don't know what he keeps in his magic murder bag. And I don't know why he does the things he does. 
But what I do know is that Dr. Killinger is one of my all-time favorite characters in this show. I love Dr. Killinger, and I love the Venture Brothers. As always, thank you for watching, and go Team Venture! Tune in next week for Viva Los Muertos! If you dug this video, share it with a friend, and if there was some huge thing that I missed in this video, follow me on Instagram at VentureVerseGuide to see these videos early and offer your input before I upload the final product.